Hi everyone, I'm Robert Moody. Welcome to Online Insights. For the November Tuesday Classical Concert, we have an incredible work of the Austrian composer Gustav Mahler, and then two works by American composers, Samuel Barber and Mason Bates. I think I'm going to begin at the end and talk about the Mahler Symphony first and then move backwards through the program. We're ending the concert with the Mahler Fourth Symphony. Mahler wrote nine symphonies, almost ten symphonies, and if you're interested in that, make sure you catch the post-concert Q&A and we'll talk about it. This Fourth Symphony is perhaps the most tonal, most major key oriented symphony of all the Mahler symphonies, and it's not quite as long as some of his more uh, epic symphonies like the second, the fifth, the eighth. Really a phenomenal piece. It also calls for a soprano voice in the final movement and that was my thinking behind pairing the next to last piece on the program uh, Samuel Barber's Knoxville A Summer of 1915 which is for soprano and orchestra. There are some great recordings of this piece and I would encourage that you go onto YouTube and take a look and listen to the soprano that we will have with the Portland Symphony, Sarah Jane McMahon. She has an incredible uh, video of her singing this work. Knoxville Summer of 1915, the text is the prologue of the Pulitzer Prize winning book A Death in the Family by James Agee and it really tells that story of a young child in 1915 and sets the scene for the family in a summer's day in Knoxville, Tennessee, sitting out on the lawn, playing in the grass, having a picnic, and tells some of the foreshadowing of the tragedy that takes place in the book. So if you're looking for some great reading, I encourage that book as well. Composer Mason Bates is one of my best friends. I've known him since he was 15 years old and a student of mine when I conducted at the Brevard Music Center in North Carolina. At that time, I introduced Mason to um, maybe the most important influence on my life outside of my family, and that's a woman named Nan Burt. Nan died in the year 2005 at age 106, and for these purposes, I'll tell you a little bit about Nan's porch. She had just an iconic cabin in the mountains of Western North Carolina above the Brevard Music Center, and she loved to have as many music students and music faculty from the Brevard Music Center over to her house as often as possible. And the wonderful memories I have of sitting on her porch in a rocking chair looking out over the Blue Ridge Mountains. Well, that leads us to this piece. Mason Bates wrote a piece for me when I took my job as music director of the Winston-Salem Symphony. That was my first time to become a music director in my career of conducting. So he wrote a piece for me, it's called Rusty Air in Carolina, and the setting is of a summer from sunrise until sunset throughout the course of one day in the south. And you hear cicada rising, he makes electronic sounds of cicada, we call them katydids in the south, rising. This moves into this wonderful, sultry, steamy, humid blues moment finally a big brass chorale, and then the cicada take us into the sunset. He wrote it all thinking about being on Nan's porch and what that feels like. It's a very powerful piece, and by the way, this great friend of mine, Mason Bates, is now the composer in residence for the Chicago Symphony, has become one of the most important American composers of his era. So you're in for a real treat with this concert. One of the greatest American composers of the 20th century, Samuel Barber, one of the most important emerging composers of the 21st century, Mason Bates, and the great master, Gustav Mahler, and his fourth symphony. See you at the concert.